adventures. Happy New Year's. Um, today is a top 20 palettes of 2020. This uh, nightmare of a year is almost, <laughs> it's almost done, peeps. Let me see if I can get this mirror to brighten up. I guess it's as bright as it's getting. Um, so, um, this is the top 20 palettes uh, that have been on my channel in 2020. Um, and I was really excited to shoot this video. Um, I haven't been on here in a few days. That I've been taking it kind of easy after Christmas. Was a little bummed um, about some things financially and not being able to get um, some winner's um, palettes to them. Um, because of shipping uh, problems, the problems in that I don't have enough money to ship it. Um, I was sitting down to film this episode and um, I got a call from my cousin that a friend of ours was murdered um, two days ago. And um, she was just the nicest person, you know. I hadn't spoken to her in years, but we were pretty close back in the day. And um, it was just really, really hard to hear um, that somebody so sweet was like murdered by her boyfriend and then he killed himself. It's just the craziest way to end 2020 because in a million years, I would have never thought that my cousin was gonna call with that news today. So um, if, I, if I'm not my normal peppy self, I literally just got this news um, like an hour ago. I was sitting down doing my makeup to film this episode when I got the phone call. So um, I am uh, praying for her children, three children, three children. I'm praying very hard for her children right now. Um, that was really the only family that she had um, because her parents had already passed away. And so um, that's rough. It's just uh, difficult to say the very least. So um, prayers for her three children this evening. I'd appreciate it if you'd pray for her too. Her name was Julie. And she was just the nicest person. So. Okay. Now, um, we're going to start with um, my top picks for 2020. So on my list at number 20 is the Morphe 24A Artist Pass. Um, this is like the last great thing that Morphe did before they, um, I guess they changed their formula at this point. This is the, um, I had two palettes that I purchased from them later. They're not little nine pan palettes and they're not the greatest. I didn't end up doing a video on those, but I'd like to, in the new year, do a video using those so that you can see, um, kind of the, um, the morph of Morphe, you know, to where they have uh, now changed into something else. This palette is absolutely gorgeous. It came out in the summertime, perfect time for it to come out. Um, the colors in this palette are so delicious and so pigmented. Um, and that is really great for the price that Morphe gives you, you know, the, the low price. Um, so I was particularly thrilled with this palette, the uh, color and some of these pressed glitters are just otherworldly. And in fact, these are stars and I'm thinking I might put some on my eye at this Jeffree Star mirror at Christmas when my son didn't want it. He wanted um, the my blue one instead, so he traded me 
an old blue one for this one. I've still got to get my blue one back, but I do like the black. It goes, goes with anything. Um, so I'm just going to put some of these stars up here. Because this is 2020. You know, normally I would be headed out somewhere because I don't have my kids for New Year's. My ex-husband has them. Um, and so pretty much every year um, for New Year's. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. And I've almost run out of stars because I liked them so, so much when I, ah, well, this one is attacking my eyeliner, so I guess it doesn't want to, doesn't want to be on there. Dang it! <laughs> I cannot get these to stay on this eye. <laughs> So, I'm going to keep trying. Because I've already got them on the other one. And then I can't go around unbalanced, you know. I'm a Libra, we have to have balance. It's very important. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to have to use a brush <laughs> to get that to adhere. So, we'll do that real quick with a brush. So yeah, usually I would be going somewhere or doing something, but um, this is my second year just at home with my man for New Year's because, um, well, COVID, this year and um, we have like no money because of COVID and we had no money last year because we had just gotten together and uh, switched jobs and you know shit was crazy but holy crap Can't you seem to get these stars to... Oh, there we go. We added something from that palette. So this is palette number 20. This little palette just shocked the shit out of me. So this is palette 19. And this is by Beauty Bay. And this is just one of the most amazing formulas for such a good price. This was only $9.99. So, look at those colors. For $9.99, that's crazy. So, I was super impressed with it. I was super impressed by the blendability of the mattes and the staying power of the shimmers. This is one of my favorite shimmer colors of all time. I love that uh, pinky gold kind of look. I used to rock that. Like, every day, it was like one shadow and done. And that was the shadow. So um, I absolutely loved this bright palette. And that is at number 19. Number 18 is the Brenda Dylan Kelly palette. And this was separated into those three rows. Dylan, Brenda and Dylan, and Dylan and Kelly. And he passed away. Um, Dylan did this past year or the year before, I think. Um, and so I, I thought that this was really special from Sola Look Cosmetics. And I actually bought uh, their whole line at the time um, and because they put me on the affiliate list. So it, this is my first affiliation um, and still my only affiliation at this present time, but that doesn't mean that I can't get that uh, going forward. I just, I really did love um, these shadows. So thrilled to be, um, 
to be on an affiliate list. And that is the Brenda Dillon Kelly palette, number 18. Uh, number 17. This is the first palette that I reviewed on my channel, the Uoma Beauty. Um, and it was new at the time, Uoma Beauty was. These shadows are so, so bomb. They're so um, emollient, um, creamy to the touch. The shimmers are very vibrant. Very, very pretty. So we love this palette and it was my first palette on YouTube. So that like, it has a totally special place in my heart because it's the first. So a row of shimmers, a row of mattes. Carnival Magic is the Black Magic Carnival is what this one is called. I loved the artwork on it. Um, the colors inside, everything about this palette is, is very, very beautiful. So that put Uoma um, at number, what, 17. I'm going to have a hard time and I'm going to do that probably through the whole video, counting <laughs> to see which one's which. So now we're at number 16. And this palette is by Pure and Raw Beauty Christy. I know there were mixed reviews on this palette, but I absolutely loved this palette. Um, this is her first collaboration that she did, and she's been a YouTuber for a very long time. And this was the neutral side and then colorful side. So with each side, you have a lot of um, matte shadows and then one shimmer in the middle. They're very pigmented and they were very easy to work with. They blended really well. Um, and this is my first palette from Pure and I actually really loved it. So I was so thrilled for Christy getting um, a collaboration. Um, and also she's an artist like me. So she put all her own drawings in an etch format on the front of the palette, which I thought was so cool. So I really did love this one. She had another palette um, that I thought was amazing um, that I have given now to my friend, the Forest at Forest Sight Palette. It was a great palette, but it said it wanted to live with its Aunt Jocelyn, so it did. So that was number 16. So this is number 15. And this is the Glam Light. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We have a broken shadow. That sucks. I wonder how long that's been broken. I haven't opened this up in a hot minute. Um, this is from Glam Light. This is the Street Taco palette. And I really like this one. I love the colors in it. And the formula is bomb, bomb, bomb. So it was the Carne Asada, the dark uh, chocolate shade um, that that is not, no longer with us. I love this uh, Pico de Gallo shade, um, red onions shade guacamole like it's so fun they're so pretty here's the carnitas um al pastor picante limon i mean just very very pigmented uh well done shadows this was actually a gift from my hubby um it was a gift from him months and months and months ago. I don't remember exactly when, but more towards the start of my YouTube channel journey. I still have not done a video with this palette, I don't think, but I will. So look forward to that um, because I really like it. So that was number 15. At number 14, we have, I hope that I'm counting right, 
funny 1918. <laughs> okay, so palette number 14. I just keep seeing the pile go down and it seems like I've, I'm going too fast. Um, this is actually from Illamasqua and this was in one of our boxy charms and this, the, these neutrals are just so dreamy and creamy and wonderful and they really do blend amaze amazingly I've got this pretty pretty color shimmer they're just very very creamy and perfect uh, shadows so if I'm doing a neutral look I'm either going with the Illamasqua or uh, the Viseart. Now, Illamasqua wins 100% um, for packaging. This is like a soft matte packaging, which is similar to um, like Jeffree Star's soft matte uh, mirrors. I absolutely love, love, love this palette. So I've been really enjoying that. I think that came back in uh, September or October maybe. I don't know, it's only been a few months that it's been here, so. Okay, next, and this one is so exciting. So this is at number 13, my paint palette, which was also a gift from my hubby at the start of my channel. So I have it in here still. This is um, one of my true, tr true treasures because I'm gonna keep it um, in this packaging um, forever. It's so cute. It's so cool. I absolutely love the way that they did this one. You know, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of their packaging, um, in general, uh, because it's usually like <clears throat> shaped like a hamburger or, um, you know, something like that. And it makes it very difficult to, um, first of all, to take them seriously. And then second, um, because they're just hard to store and it looks gimmicky like um like a child made it or something i don't know if that makes any sense or like it's for uh, teenagers or something i don't know that's just how i feel about it i was just cleaning it up a little bit so you could look at all this goodness now i did see that they came out with another one that was um more cool tone uh related but I feel like there was no need to do a uh, a second one because the first one is phenomenal. Um, colors, phenomenal, buttery, creamy. Um, this may be the prettiest green shade. It's like in um, in the runnings for the prettiest green. We have a sapphire, it's just gorgeous. Violet, this one's gorgeous. Really, really pretty colors. <clears throat> the whole rainbow full of them. And um, it's very special to me. It's, um, I think, one of the coolest things about it for me is that I have always been a painter and now since I've been doing the um, this channel I haven't had that much time to <clears throat> excuse me I haven't had that much time to do painting and I'd like to um, try to incorporate that somehow into um, into the channel because I really love it or maybe make another channel for art so you never know. Um, so that was number 13, the paint palette from Glam Light. Really love them. So they are the only people I think who made it on there twice. Pretty good. Oh, no, there's another one that's on there twice. Okay, so number 12, gather around sisters. This is from the Hocus Pocus palette. Um, or the Hocus Pocus movie. I absolutely love this one. Um, this palette sparked um, a giveaway. So um, another lucky person has this palette. And um, it sparked me watching uh, Hocus Pocus with the kids. And that was amazeballs. Um, 
some of the most beautiful muted fall type colors in this palette, but just very well done. I loved everything about it. Um, the story of it's great. The, the shadows themselves were phenomenal. You can just tell by the purples and the greens there. Just really, really nice shadows. Love the color story. Um, everything about it uh, screams fall uh, through slash winter. <laughs> I do a lot of blues in the winter time. I didn't realize how much that I do that, but I do a lot of blues and greens um, in the winter time. And um, I absolutely love it. So this one came in at number 13. Lucky 13. Oh, no, no. The other one was 13. This one was 12. See, I knew I would miscount. <laughs> this one was number 12 from ColourPop. Okay, up next, and this is from Juvia's Place. This is the, the holiday thing that came out in November with orange tones, yellow, and gold. And these are just insane. This is the pressed glitter uh, type shade. We have, look at how pretty these are. This is this yummy um, orangey color. I love golds and I, so I feel like that's uh, one of the reasons that I loved this so much. It's also because I had purchased the pinks palette from them, right? The sweet pinks. So that's this one. These sweet pinks. I had purchased this and I was not thrilled with it. Like it stained my eyelids. It, it, I just wasn't thrilled with it. So I, I went back and used it again after I got this one and I loved it so much. I used this again and it actually is a good palette. I just must have been having a bad day at that point um, with that. So I'm really excited um, that Juvia's Place um, changed my mind on them because I knew, I kind of knew that I would um, because I felt like there's no way everybody loves Juvia's Place. There's no way that that they have bad shadow, so it was just user error. It was just me. Okay, up next at, that was number 11. So this is number 10. So that's funny. It's number 10 in 2020. And this is the Orient Express palette from Nomad. We absolutely love Nomad around here. Look at these shadows. Look at, look at, look at these shadows. It's crazy. Absolutely love some of these colors, almost all of them. This color in particular is just really beautiful. It's like a green, green gold is what this one is. This beautiful sapphire blue. We've got London is like a pink shimmer that also has kind of like a duochrome effect. Um, we have in here this gorgeous red shade um, called the Roaring Twenties. I absolutely love that shade. Um, this beautiful green right here. Uh, looking at it now, I'm like, why weren't you using this at Christmas? And I know that I've said that before because... Um, or thought that before, at least if I didn't say it on, on a video. I feel like I might have, but I don't remember. My memory is not, not good. So, um, yeah. The Orient Express palette from Nomad. I really love, you know, so it was a hundred years ago, 1920 to 2020. And in 2020, um, this packaging is so throwback. It's velvet. I'm sure you can see a little bit of that. 
it's velvet, it's that, um, it's the way that makeup and things like this were packaged back in the 20s. Looks kind of like marquee kind of styled. And um, I just really love, I loved it. I had a great time filming that, um, that palette uh, review. It was fantastic. I'm going to pause and get a Coke. <laughs> Okay, success, I have a Coke. <laughs> I also brought all of the palettes over here now because now the stack is uh, small enough to sit on my desk. So, at number nine for 2020, my one and only Pat McGrath palette. This is the Celestial Divinity palette and I absolutely love it. Um, if it doesn't look like I've used it much, it's because I've cleaned it a lot because I really love it. Um, a lot of these duochromes are just super special. I've never had anything like that in a makeup collection. Um, and this is really the first I've ever played with any kind of shadow to this, I don't even know, in this caliber, I guess, um, because the shadows are just so good, so dreamy, absolutely gorgeous shades. This is the one I was looking for, the Super Duo Chrome. It's like a pink purple thing, so pretty. I, I could just sit and stare at these colors for hours. Um, so this one is on number nine, guys. My first palette from Pat McGrath, too. So that's super cool. Um, it might be my last because they're so expensive. <laughs> this one I only got because... Ooh, hot flash. This one I only got because... Um, hot flash, indeed. Oh, um, that one I only got because it was only $78, so, and I know I'm saying only in $78, but her palettes are usually $129 for 10 shades, and that was, um, like 16 shades for 78, so I had to do it. Um, so that was number nine. Ah! I'm seriously suffering. Hot flash ahoy. There's nothing like having a lovely makeup look destroyed by a hot flash. It's just so, so uh, satisfying to me, you know? I'm looking behind me right now thinking of all the work that I have to do to take down all my Christmas stuff. Crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so at number eight, we have the Lunar Beauty. Uh, what is this? Eternal Eclipse. So I definitely um, love this palette. I had a hard time with some of the uh, looks that I did with it. And I think that that is just because I'm used to using more pigment than you have to with these because just barely touching these shadows and you get like super insane payoff. Um, so I just, I, I was just using too much, I think, of them. I have a, um, I have a review coming for this. <laughs> and it'll be the last, the last review you see of this palette on YouTube, I'm sure of that. But, um, I just wanted to go through, like, all the, all the things about the palette that 
<sighs> I, that the pictures won't show you, you know, and talk about it a little bit more in depth. But um, as far as a neutral palette with a pop of blue, um, it's a really, <clears throat> a really new way to think about a pop of blue in a palette. Um, it's definitely... It's just a stellar palette. I absolutely love it. So that is number eight, guys, the Lunar Beauty. Plus, that's my first thing from Lunar Beauty. And to just blow it out of the water like that, I feel like a lot of things uh, right here at the end of the year have been just super good over the top. Um, I feel like the things that I was trying earlier in the year were just not the best. <laughs> okay, so let's see, that was number seven. Six, no, that was number eight. This is number seven. So this is the uh, Mandalorian the Child palette. This is my second from ColourPop. I love this palette. I absolutely love this palette. Whoa. I don't know. This doesn't look used enough. I hope the right one is in the giveaway. Yeah, it is. It has to be. This has to be mine. Just doesn't look like I used it enough, but I... Well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's I have to I've I've used it quite a bit, I guess. I don't know. I know that the shadows are gorgeous. And I I love some of these so much. Like this one, this highlighty kind of shade is just gorgeous. Super pretty shades. Um, even the darks in here are just really, really nice. Nice shades. So I really loved this palette. I love greens, so it's no uh it's no surprise that <laughs> greens are gonna be in my top. Um and I'm wearing the greens from the number one palette on my eyes. Fantastic palette uh, from ColourPop. So that's number seven. No, was it number seven? Yeah, that was number seven. So this is number six. <laughs> six is Pumpkin Spice from Too Faced. I absolutely love this palette. A lot of people were like, I'm not even going to get it. It's going to be garbage. It is such a stellar palette. Um, I can't even tell you. It's so good. I made lots of different looks with this. And you can make just tons of different looks. Um, some of my favorites are the purples. The purples were really lovely. Um, there was a pink pink combo that I did. Maybe it was this one. Oh my goodness. I can't really see them very well on my fingers. Oh my goodness. I'm having a hiccup attack. Uh, pumpkin spice. Uh, the color pumpkin spice, fall vibes, really, really pretty shadows. Um, nothing to complain about. I think it was just a really good, um, really good fall palette. Probably the only thing I would complain about is this tin packaging. It doesn't quite close all the way, and I don't know if that's just mine, but it just doesn't like. It doesn't close all the way. It just kind of sits there. 
but um, I really do love this palette. This was my uh, my uh, favorites from Sephora. So I like order a full face of Sephora. That's what I did. And this was the palette from that. <clears throat> and I absolutely loved it. So here it is. Um, a very, very, very nice part of my collection. Okay. So number five was the In Your Dreams palette by Wicked Sisters. This is a totally new, um, brand that I found out about from, um, a girl I watch, um, named Leora. I think her last name's Goldman. I can't remember. Leora Goldman? I think so. And she's fantastic. And she talks about indie makeup. And um, this was on um, her list of new indie releases right around Halloween. And I had to have it. And I'm so glad I bought it. This might be the prettiest uh, silvery um, glitter, pressed glitter. Jeez, I cannot think for anything. This is called Razors, and it is stinking gorgeous. And then we have Prime Time, which is a red glitter. Um, Dream Demon. Sweater, <laughs> love it. Nightmare, which is a really nice shimmer black. Boiler Room, um, just some really, really good shades. Also, um, I thought about it later. That's also a really great palette um, for Christmas, so. Fantastic, fantastic palette. Loved it. So that was number five from Wicked Sisters, a very new um, indie thing. Very glad to know about. Okay, so next, this was um, a long journey to get. This is my Kaleidos um, Sashimi City. So this is a neutral palette with some of the most gorgeous shimmer shades in them. Oh, they are so pretty. Otherworldly, really. Um, especially this pink guy. Just so pretty. So, so pretty. Um love these there you you couldn't you can't get any more buttery than these are oh my gosh seriously these are better than the Nat natasha denona um shadows that we got um in boxy charm that boxy charm thing that we did these are way better than that um it was like i think what 26 dollars or something like that for this um, five pan palette, which is expensive. Um, but they have amazed balls quality, like just really, really killer quality at Kaleidos. So that is, um, number, what, what's this? Number four. Number four was from Kaleidos. Okay. And up to the very last minute, I'm still kind of changing my mind on the order of these last couple. Ah! Okay, so number three, also an indie brand. This is from, um, what is this from? Odin's Eye. This is from Odin's Eye, and this is the Alva 2 palette. I will be very excited to see what they come out with next. I love their packaging. Absolutely love it. And I loved their shadows. Love, love, love this palette. You've got all these sweet orangey pink shades, neutral kind of dream over here, and all this blue and good green goodness over here. 
amaze balls quality. Absolutely love these shadows. Um, that's so pretty. So pretty. Ah, they're so good. What I would have changed, I feel like there's two pressed glitters and they're both on the neutral side. And I wish that they would have given us one um, on the blue-green side. But they're gorgeous. They're stinking gorgeous. And they make for like really, really good... I'm hoping that that was fireworks. I'm going to hope that that was fireworks. Because that was very loud. And sounded very much like gunshots. The only thing I don't like about uh, fireworks is they're very loud. <laughs> very loud. And I, I'm not not so much about that life so i absolutely love this a plus on the packaging a plus on the delivery a plus on the shadows a plus on all of it um number three of 2020 from odin's eye okay number two and this one and that one were like i didn't know which one to put where because they're so that level for me and this is the Ace Beauté Nostalgia Palette. I did so many cool looks with this. Um, I did, oh no, oh no, my mirror is broken. Well, that's a shame. That's a shame. I wonder when that happened. Bummer. Okay, anyway, um, I guess I'll tape over that or something. What, what should I do? Never had one break before. I guess maybe I should tape over it or something. I don't know. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, number two palette of the year and the, the daggone thing's broken. Look at how gorgeous these shadow, the, this like no effort, um, just dip in and gorgeous color awaits you. And it doesn't matter which color you're looking at. They're all the same. Buttery. These are all mattes. Like how fantastic is that? I liked how matte heavy it was um, as far as doing um, really pretty looks. You can do an awful lot. Um, with a matte heavy palette. <sighs> um, but I liked the shimmers in it too. That's a gorgeous shimmer from this palette. And then this one is Amazeballs. And then we have this gold as well. So lots of gorgeous options. I cannot believe that my palette is broken. <laughs> just like 2020 for you to come in at the last minute and and do something crazy like break <laughs> so this is palette number two of the year for me um and i have to repair it now <clears throat> so that sucks so here comes palette number one and palette number one is very recent um very recent purchase um and it's what's on the eyes today. And I guess guess you guys already know it's blood money. Blood money is otherworldly and it's greenness and it's goodness. And I absolutely love it. I did um, a look today with um, some of the more teal shades and the mint um, countdown shade and um, I used the black, I used that black card limit in like every single one 
um, but just some of the examples of how stinking gorgeous this is. Um, I do love me some green, green eyeshadow, friends, and this is no exception. I absolutely love it. Look at that shade. It's so interesting. It's like a greeny gray. I love that one. Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> so I'd actually like to do some more um, tutorials and things with my palette of the year. So I think that that's what I'm going to do um, coming up. That's the black shade. It's so pretty is do some more tutorials with um, the palette of the year. And maybe some of the other ones too. Revisit some of them um, as we go into uh, 2021. So I hope everybody else feels the same way that they're just so ready to be done with 2020. It's unbelievable. Um, the year has been crazy and oh, yay, happy 2021. So I hope that um, everybody is staying safe out there and being kind to one another. Um, and hopefully we can make this a better uh, 2021 than 2020 was because 2020... It's no good. I'm so ready for it to be done. So ready. So I don't have much time left, so that's good. And um, I'm gonna try to get this edited really quick and put it up for you guys. And it's been wonderful. My first year on YouTube, um, I got started like halfway through the year, I think, um, maybe in May or something. And um, I can't wait to have another year with you guys and grow and rediscover this channel and um, make it really cool. I'm excited for that. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please um, don't forget to like. Um, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, and um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everyone has a very... <laughs> Very happy new year. Bye, guys.